All right, guys. Welcome to yet another video for the B Eleven X. Now, a couple of days back, you did see a review of Oxygen OS Complete Edition for this particular device. Now, this is of course the Eleven X, also known as the Poco F Three and the Redmi K Fourteen, different regions of the world. Now, today we're going to talk about an install guide, and yet again, they have updated the ROM. They've fixed things further. They've made things better for you. So, in my opinion, if you're talking about a port, if you want the complete OnePlus experience on your device. This is the ROM you should go to. It can definitely be used as a daily driver, and majority of the things, more than ninety percent of the things, are fixed and working absolutely okay. So stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll be showing you step by step how to install this particular ROM and how to set it up initially. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people! Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now the first thing in an install and preview video, what we usually do is uh, we will usually go to the official group and stuff like that. So let's actually go ahead and do that. I don't know why this was in landscape, but anyways, we are in portrait ori orientation now. So let's actually go to say Poco F3 updates and let's see. We have Oxygen OS 11 port updated on the 2nd of July 2022. Now this is around a 3 gigabyte download. Now let's talk about the change log here real quick. Okay, so this is the latest change log. Set media volume step to 25. Remove 90 hertz. That's fine. Added latest stock OnePlus launcher. Now there are no weird bugs. Fix refresh rate stuck at 60 hertz. Fix refresh rate unable to switch directly from 60 to 120. Fixed USB mount option is not popping up. Fixed battery drain and heat. Revert Xiaomi part changes to 14th of June 2022. Added build number in about phone setting. All right. So they've made quite a lot of changes over here. And if you go to info and installation, there are two files that you need in order to flash this particular ROM and get it working properly. One of them is of course the MIUI 12.5.7 firmware. And the second, of course, is the ROM file, which does come with G apps, so nothing special there. There are only two known bugs, which is Wi-Fi six. I mean, very few people are using Wi-Fi six these days. This is a relatively new technology, and face unlock is not working. Again, face unlock on Android is as good as a joke. It can, yeah, I mean, it's a joke on Apple devices as well. But that's a discussion for another day. Now, this is the installation method that they have recommended. You need a firmware based on the device of your region. So you can use global, Europe, China, or India, and you need to go to recovery, of course. Now the basic requirement here, of course, is you need to have a Mi 11X or a Poco F3, which does have an unlocked bootloader. It should have TWRP recovery installed, and this time we are using the latest TWRP, which means we will be able to decrypt our internal storage and use files from the internal storage. Once you have everything ready, you just need to wipe data and cache if you come from another ROM. Select the downloaded ROM, zip, and install. Format data if your storage is encrypted and reboot to slot A. Now before that you have to first flash the regional firmware. Now basic things to take care of. Of course you need to have more than 50% battery. Make sure you backed up all the information on your device because when we do format data, everything on your phone will be erased. You need to remove your lock screen security like face unlock, fingerprint unlock, pin pattern, password, whatever it is. And if you are coming from MIUI. You need to go ahead and remove your MI account and reboot the device once. Now, once you've done all of that, and I've also mentioned the files that you need, you should be good to go. So now, what we'll do over here is we will quickly press and hold the power button, and we'll click on restart. Press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the Poco or MI logo, depending on your device. Okay, you can release the buttons. Then, as you can see, we are booting into TWRP. Okay, now let's go to wipe. Let's wait for the touch drivers to load. Advanced wipe, Dalvik data. These are the only two partitions I'm formatting because my files are there on the internal storage. Okay, now go to install and select the internal storage. Now over here, first I will flash the firmware. Swipe to confirm. Flash the firmware is relatively a smaller file, so it will not take a very long time to flash. So please be patient while that happens, and then we will install the ROM itself, and we will select this option called automatically reflash TWRP after flashing a ROM. 
swipe to confirm flash now of course this is a rom which is around 3 gigabytes so it will take its own sweet time to you know go ahead and flash and get installed properly so please be patient while that happens it'll take about two to three minutes not more than that so yeah let's wait for the rom to flash and then let's see how it goes all right now what you can see over here is it says script succeeded result was this, this, this. now these errors that you see you can ignore them and just to be safe i would recommend go to wipe format data and type in yes now this will erase everything on your phone's internal storage including the internal music and all the photos so we are doing a format data just to be sure that we don't get a boot loop so let's click on remove system now as you can see we have the oneplus logo and the first boot should become real soon all right now as you can see the phone is booting up the first boot may take around 45 seconds to one minute so please be patient while that happens all right, so just like that, we are booting into the latest port of Oxygen OS. Hello, it says. So we're gonna quickly skip through the entire setup part because we can do that later. So let's let's actually continue. All right, and just like that, we are on the home screen of Oxygen OS and let's quickly actually go to about. As you can see, it has all the information correct. This is the complete addition that we have. Build number has been added. So yes, this is a quick step-by-step -step guide to install the best Oxygen OS version on the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. The same video will be available in Hindi on our phone ops Hindi channel. So do subscribe us there. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at phone ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.